are here at the North American International Auto Show. I'm standing here with Ari Leyendike. Now, this guy seems to be a man of many wonders, but <laughs> we're actually here to talk about the Bell Isle Grand Prix, and you are going to be racing in the Super Stadium Truck Series. Yeah, exactly. So it's our third year running the trucks uh, in conjunction with the race, and the race this year is uh, it's June 3rd through the 5th, yep. and we race three days. We race Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I feel like it was a a fan favorite the last two years. I mean, trucks have you know 600 horsepower. We run the whole track. Uh, we hit metal jumps, uh, rain or shine, and uh, cross my fingers for a sunny weekend because last year when it rained, I didn't fare so well. But the year before that, we were on the podium twice, and it was amazing because Quicken Loans is my sponsor, and uh, to have all the employees from Quicken Loans out there, it just makes for a great atmosphere. Did you were you able to give any of them rides? Do you have two seats in your truck? No, no, unfortunately not. We do do some media rides, but um, in the race we only have one seat. Because I always find that when you're able to get your sponsors in the seats, right, that's yeah. when they're like, sold, the, all the right, we'll sign you for the next 10 years. Yeah, the appreciation goes from here to there. It you're totally like, does, because yeah. they understand what's really going on inside those trucks, because SST right. is not your everyday kind of off-roading truck, because it's all tarmac and right. metal jumps. Yeah. Every once in a while they integrate some dirt in there. Right. But it is one of the most fun events that I think I've ever been to to be able to watch because you can just set it up anywhere. I mean, I've seen them in Las Vegas, I've seen them yeah. in Long Beach, I've seen them all over the place. Robbie's done a really good job with this series. How long have you been racing it? Um, I was there for the first race that he ever did and okay. uh, I've kind of been in and out of the series because I also race in the, the Torque series full time. Um, but this is one of my favorite events to do every year because it is at an IndyCar event. Um, the fans are just so receptive here in Detroit. And it is sort of that gritty type of racing. I mean, it's like full contact. And I feel like it like fits well with the city. And I feel like that's why it's such a fan favorite. And for us, you know, uh, to be on the podium for the, the first year we were here and to have Quicken Loans on board. And it's just, it's just one of those things where I look forward to it. And this is always the race before X Games. And it always gets me ready for that, too. Now you've podium finished a couple times in the series, but you've also podium finished at the X Games. Right, last year, yeah, last year I got the bronze, which is which is awesome. It's a pretty cool accomplishment for me, personally. And um, well, I haven't won a race yet. We need to win one. <laughs> so hopefully we get that first win here in Detroit. Well, I'm one of those that a podium finish is a win because those, those races are so aggressive and you never really know what's going to happen. I mean, it is literally door-to-door high-flying action. Yeah. And I raced with the boss. I mean, Robbie Gordon, that guy's uh, a remarkable driver. And, and one time I was leading in the last corner of the last lap, and he spun me out. So he definitely does not... Quite fair. Does not, well, no, he... he <laughs> In my opinion, he doesn't. No, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. It is Robbie. But I mean, he's so aggressive, and he's not letting anyone win out there. He's trying hard to win himself, and that's that's kind of shows you how competitive he is and how close the racing is in that series. Well, and he's raising the stakes too. Like, hey, yeah. if you guys want to win, this is where it's at. This is right. where the level's got to be. Now, you come from a racing family as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I used to race Indy Car. I used to race Indy Lights, and, and transitioning to this off road has been kind of insane for me, but. Um, I love it. I love the short races. I love uh, how action-packed they are. Um, and it's just one of those things where, you know, if you come to the race, which is in the middle, in the beginning of June, <laughs> I always forget the date, but it's the 3rd through the 5th. It's um, right after Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, they have IndyCar, they have sports car, they have our trucks. It's sort of like this whole day of just constant racing on track. And uh, it's just one of those things where you can't really describe it unless you see it. Now, it seems like because you come from IndyCar racing and you're at a weekend where there is IndyCar racing, but now you're in this total yeah. is it weird for you to be it, or is it kind of cool because you're like, oh, I, I get it all? It is a little weird. You know, obviously a part of me wants to be driving an IndyCar and uh, I tested a few years ago for Dale Coyne and it's still very close to my heart. I'd love to, love to do the 500 again. But also, this is something that I'm very passionate about. And now I own my own race team and I do you know 12 to 14 truck races a year. And I love it. It's just I feel like um, that's sort of the way racing is going. Everyone loves that short, action-packed race, and um, you know we have so many different types of fans. And everyone owns a truck out there. I mean, I own a truck. It's so relatable. So for me, um, you know, transitioning to the truck stuff has been a pleasure. Fantastic. Now, mm -hmm. is that exactly like what made you? Not that not to say that you actually left, but I mean, you go from these right super high speed. Yeah. Tight turns, so, mini car racing yeah. to off road. Right. Well, I couldn't. Basically, what happened is in the Indy car, I lost a sponsor, and then I went on the Bachelorette, <laughs> which is kind of a random transition. Comes out. And then I got off, and then Robbie goes, "Hey, 
want to try truck racing. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know about dirt. And then I did it, and I fell in love with it. And I've been doing it ever since. And it was just kind of a weird way how, how life sort of carves a path for you. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's led me to here. And it's just one of those things that um, I, I'm appreciative. And it's, it's reinvigorated my career because I've had to completely sort of relearn how to drive because it's so different than what I'm used to. And, uh, for example, here last year it rained. I've never been in one of these things in the rain, and I've been used to having downforce in the rain. So now you take a truck that's like on asphalt hitting metal jumps in the rain and you're sideways everywhere. It was a, it was a learning experience. So hopefully I can adapt and, and do well and, and do them proud and get a win this year. Well, I have much luck. Much, I have faith in you. All right, I have a feeling that good. everything's going to be good because now you have you have more seat time. Yep, That's all that really sure, matters. For and, sure. and I understand exactly what it's like being in those trucks. So yeah. maybe someday I'll be able to race against you yeah, in the you Torque go. Series because that's what I'm aiming for. Nice. And best of luck to you at the Bell Isle Grand Prix. Yeah, thanks. All and right. if you do, if anyone wants tickets, DetroitGP.com, and tickets start at forty bucks. So pretty awesome. All right, fantastic. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> have more from you from the NCAA.